Greetings lovelies, hi, it's Emmy. Welcome back to another Emmy Eats. Today I'll be eating not a country, but an orb. Do you know what an orb is? An orb is an operation ration pack. So this orb was sent to me all the way from the UK by a viewer named Harold. Harold, thanks so much for sending this along to me. I'm super excited to try it. So Harold sent this to me as a response to my MRE video. And if you haven't seen that, you should definitely check it out. I'll put the link down in the description box. An MRE is an acronym for Meal Ready to Eat. It's packaged cooked food that's sent off with troops. And this is the UK version and it's called an orb. It's a 24 hour ration pack. So what is in this box should feed a man for 24 hours? Seven is my lucky number, so we'll see if this box is lucky. It contains a minimum of 4,000 kilocalories. Holy cow. And then it gives you various heating instructions. Harold included a very nice note, and he said that unlike the US version where there was this self-heating pack, troops usually carry a small stove. He calls it a small hexamine stove. But he recommended that I just boil them in pots of water over the stove and it should do the same thing. So that's what I have going in the kitchen right now. I've got my ration packs boiling in just water, just so they'll be hot. You can also eat them cold, but I don't feel like it's a fair assessment if you're just eating them cold, right? This is the contents of the package, right there. So those four packs are heating on the stove right now. Snacks contain a fruit puree, uh, apricot cactus bar. What's a cactus bar? Cactus bar? Apricot cactus bar? What's cactus? It's not cactus, cactus. Cactus bar? Do you guys know what beverage whitener is? Sounds like something for your teeth. Okay, so while we're waiting for the main meals to heat up, I'm gonna eat some of these snacks and other things. So first off, let's try this apricot cactus bar. I'm assuming it's this, be fruity. So I guess it's like a dried fruit bar. It's rather dark in color. It smells like dried fruit. Let's give it a taste. Hmm. It has a soft texture rather than being chewy like a fruit leather. And it's good. It's not overly sweet. It's a little bit tart as dried apricots are. So maybe some chopped up raisin in there as well. So yeah, it's passable. I think on the go, if you're hiking or something, it, this would be golden. But as something that you would just have as a snack, meh. So there are several drinks, and they come in these kind of packets. Raspberry, black currant, and sweet cherry. Electrolyte drink powder, but it's called exotic. Is it like, why? Is it made out of rambutan or something? Is there durian in there? What's exotic about it? There's the stats. I feel like some like exotic dancer is going to pop out or something. So let's try the exotic first because exotic. So I'm just going to guesstimate, you know, a teaspoon or so in there. And the exotic doesn't look all that exotic. <laughs> it smells peachy. Let's give that a stir. Exotic isotonic. Hmm. I like it like this. It's not overly sweet, and it's actually a little bit sour and slightly salty, and tastes like artificial peach flavor. Not bad. Doesn't that sound attractive? <laughs> it's quite thick, very plain looking. It smells like oatmeal. Mm. It has a grainy texture, I think, from the oatmeal. And to me, similar to some digestive biscuits, a little bit thicker and quite sweet, actually. In terms of flavor, it tastes like a toasted kind of oatmeal cookie. I don't taste really much vanilla or anything, or butter for that matter. Very sweet, kind of dense cookie. I think much better dipped in tea. And this is the spoon that comes with the orb. So I'm going to use the official eating utensil to try the food. Let's start with the starter. Let's have the chicken and vegetable soup. It smells like kind of canteen cafeteria food. Definitely smells kind of tinned. So there it is inside. Can you see that? It's kind of got this yellowy white color to it. Chunks of carrot and vegetable. Hmm. Wow, really hot. Much hotter than the chemical pack, but it makes sense because I boiled it for quite a while. Quite salty. It tastes a bit like cream of chicken soup. You know, it has that creamy milky flavor with celery and carrot flavor in it. It's not bad. Sweet cherry. Let's put a little of that. Ooh. Interesting. 
In the U.S., if we would have the cherry drink, it would be much more striking, fake red color. This is more of a plummy color to it, more natural kind of cherry color. Hmm, and actually has more of a real cherry flavor. I'm kind of surprised by that. I was expecting kind of cherry Kool-Aid flavor, which is very artificial tasting, but good in its own kind of way. But this actually tastes more like real cherry, even though it has that kind of alarming color. The caramel cereal bar. And this is actually comes from Denmark. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Mmm. -hmm. I kind of feel like this is kind of a veiled candy bar. It's quite sweet and delicious. It tastes very caramelly. There's some crunchy cereal bits in there, I think rice bits, some dried fruit, and very much akin to the soft granola bars that we have here in the States. This is the chicken, pasta, and mushrooms. Yes, the main meal. It smells pretty good, actually. Let's use our designated tool. It's very hot. I like these boil bags, although boiling in plastic is leaves a little bit. Hmm. But, you know, we're out, we're out in the bush, so we have no other options. So here's the pasta, very cheesy and creamy, and it looks like they're shell pasta. In my MRE video, I had the chicken and pasta, and the chicken pieces were really large. I was kind of surprised by that. Here, they're much smaller, much about the size of the pasta itself. Hmm, it's not bad. It's creamy, rich, again, has that kind of tinned package flavor, kind of like a wetter mac and cheese with chicken pieces. The pasta is quite soft, but it's to be expected because it's been sitting in sauce forever. Generally speaking, that's not bad. I think there's a good pasta to chicken ratio. I would say maybe mm, two to one. The MRE also contained a Tabasco pack, but it came in a packet. The orb comes with an actual Tabasco bottle. How stinking cute is that? This is a glass bottle of Tabasco. It is teeny tiny. Look how small it is. It's like the size of my nose with a tiny screw-off lid. How wonderful is that? I love it. So I'm going to add some of this to this. Here we go. Mm-hmm. Infinitely better. This is a fruit pocket. So I have the yellow cap, which means it's Gilbert Deckel. It's apple mango. Excellent. It smells good. It smells like applesauce. Mmm, it's quite good. Mostly applesauce, and then there's just a hint of mango in there, but it's quite nice. My son is gonna love this, because he loves mango. Black currant is a flavor that you don't find much here in the States. It's a beautiful purple color. Mmm, mmm. Black currant is lovely. It's got kind of a blueberry, peachy flavor to it. It sounds weird, but. It's delicious. The dark chocolate chip oat biscuit. Again, in this kind of soylent green packaging. <laughs> Very space agey. And in here are five cookies. And it looks like a biscuit. Much thinner than the oat biscuit. And you can see spattered with dark chocolate. Hmm. Yum. Again, like the oat block, it has a very grainy, oaty texture to it. Quite dry and crisp in texture. But nice, not overly sweet, and then just little flecks of dark chocolate. Again, I need some tea. I'm gonna make some tea. I'm gonna get some hot water. Bear right back. I've never had Thai food tea before, so put it in my teacup, and I've got some hot water, and let's give that a go. While that's steeping, I shall have my hot chocolate mix. I've got some of that powder in there. Hmm. Mm. It tastes a lot like Swiss Miss, just like we have here in the States. Just instant hot chocolate. It does remind me of when I was a child, but if you make homemade hot chocolate with real milk, you just can't go back with water. But yeah, not bad. I always have my tea black. I don't know why. I don't put sugar in it either. I, that's how I have my coffee too. Anyways. Mmm, that's quite nice. A very smooth black tea. Not bitter. Delicious. I like it. Let's try it with a biscuit. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. That's the way to eat this. With your tea. You get some wicked looking matches. Look at these. Aren't they amazing? I think they're for like wet conditions. And then it, it includes a little striker. Oh, you get some instant coffee, which is just like the one I had in my US version, so I won't be trying that. Here's some tubes of sugar. And this is called whitener or creamer. I've never heard it called whitener before. Amazing. There's also a pack of tissues. Paloma. These are from Slovenia. In the U.S., what we call pudding here is like a milk product that has gelatin in it, and it's very creamy, and that's what we call pudding. It's oftentimes chocolate, tapioca, or vanilla. In the U.K., it's a steamed bread, right? Like my spotted dick. If you haven't seen my spotted dick video, I'll put the link down below. Emmy eats spotted dick. You want to see it. This is chocolate pudding, and I'm imagining that that's what this is. Oh, it smells divine. Nice and chocolatey, and that's what it looks like. And indeed... Here is a piece of the bread, and there's a luscious chocolate sauce. That's what we would call pudding here in the States. Something like this, like a thickened dairy dessert. Mmm. That's nice. It has a really nice kind of puddingy texture. Very soft and rich. Kind of wet, but not overly sweet. Very pleasant. I love it. Here's the sauce. Mmm, the sauce is great too. Nice and chocolatey, a little bit buttery. Delicious. This is scrumptious. According to the box, you can eat all of these things cold as well, but so much better when you heat them up, so I'm so glad I boiled them. Ooh, that smells very strongly of raspberry. And this one too is pink. Mmm, that tastes like what we would find as a raspberry flavor here in the U.S. Kind of artificial but definitely raspberry. We have polo mints. It smells minty, let's give that a taste. Here we go. Mmm, different texture than a lifesaver though. Much more crumblier and sweeter and less minty, but as a breath freshener, not bad. This is actually a UK product, just nuts. Looks like there's almonds, peanuts, and cashews. I'm not sure if they're salted. Reminds me a bit of the German Studenfutter. These have a little bit of a soft crunch to them. They're not really crunchy. And they're not salted, which makes them kind of bland, unfortunately. But, again, when you're out in the bush, you want to have your nuts. Fruit and oat snack bar. 50 grams. It looks like a soft textured granola bar. It smells like it, too. Mm-hmm. It's just like the soft granola bars here you would find in the States. I wouldn't consider it healthy because it's quite sweet, but it has a really nice soft texture, full of oaty chew, lots of oats, and maybe some sunflower seeds in there. Very, very dense, full of, you know, energy on the go. Okay, my last hot pack is this. Maple syrup bun. Look at this. Isn't this packaging terrible? It makes it look so unattractive. This is not what I expected. It does not look very appetizing. It smells great. It smells like a bear claw or a, you know, a Danish. Very cinnamony and maple syrupy. Kind of artificially, though. Mmm. It smells better than it tastes. It's got a very odd texture. It's kind of sticky and soft. It's like if you took a cinnamon roll and smushed it and then steamed it a little bit so it'd be really soft. It has a fake kind of artificial maple syrup flavor to it. Again, after a long day, I'm sure it's delicious. And let's finish it off with the strong mint gum. V6, I think, is actually from Norway. So cool, these international brands. Looks like some of the xylitol gums that I had from the Nordic countries. Let's give that a taste. Mmm. Great minty flavor. Kind of a slippery, soft texture. Definitely better than the U.S. version of a gum. That gum got really hard and rubbery really quickly. Like it. Does it have xylitol in it too? Yes. And it has xylitol in it, which is great for your teeth. Is it true that the U.S. MRE gum is a laxative? Full disclosure, I didn't have any issues, but... Besides lighting my matches and purifying my water, I think I've pretty much done this entire package. Thanks again, Harold, for sending me this ORP, this Operation Ration Pack. To me, it was great. It was a delight. It's great to see the kind of cultural differences and the similarities. And it's great to tap into this camping slash survival instincts as well. Great. 
And thanks you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys learned something. I hope you guys enjoyed that. And I shall see you in my next video. Toodaloo, take care, bye! So from what I researched on the internet, toddy palm can include several varieties of palm tree, including date and coconut. It doesn't say what kind of palm this is, and this is a product of Thailand. It just says toddy palm. It's also used to make an alcoholic beverage. Includes a target for practice shooting. It, uh, uh, uh.